Good evening. Great evening. St. Francis is saying, Paris welcomes our parishioners and visitors from this solemnity of the Matthew Conception, our Blessed Virgin Mary. The presenter for the Mass today is Father Liam and will be assisted by Deacon Russ King in the Kingdom. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We thank God for our baptism and we remember our baptism as we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the angel came to Mary and said, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We are celebrating, actually, the Immaculate Conception of Mary in the womb of her mother, St. Anne, because God protected Mary from the first moment of conception. He protected her from all sin, including the effects of original sin. So it's the Immaculate Conception of Mary in the womb of her mother and Mary said yes to be the mother of the Son of God, Jesus, and her yes involved great sufferings, joys and sufferings. Mary is our mother of sorrows, our mother of joys, and we turn to her and we ask Mary now to help us in our sorrows and in our joys as we pray together and as we, as we pray. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May our loving God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray our short glory be to the glory be to the Father. And to the Son. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As the God is in the beginning, By the Immaculate Conception of Mary, prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, Jesus Christ. When we pray that as you preserve Mary from every stain and the effects of sin, by virtue of the, the suffering and death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jesus is the new Adam, Mary is the new Eve, because Jesus, their obedience, reversed the disobedience of Adam and Eve.
A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The servant tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the servant, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals, from all the, the, the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and here shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all living things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness from the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in his beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hope in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Speak, Lord, to servants are listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, Lord. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, O Grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, and not for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord My favorite Advent story is the story of a young woman who, on this very day last year, this woman received a Christmas card in the mail. And she opened the card and it said, the wise men presented the child Jesus. They presented him gifts. And she was thinking, now, this is interesting, but have you noticed they said, Christmas is his birthday, right? But we're the ones who get the gifts. We're the ones who give the gifts. And so this young woman was thinking, well, what, what gift can I give to Jesus for Christmas? She thought about that and prayed about that for many days. And eventually, God spoke to her heart. She said to him, on the ninth day, the ninth day of her novena, she said, God, what gift can I give to you for Christmas? Do you know what God said? Do you know what God said? Oh yeah. Um, 19 people don't know. But God said, give me your sins. And she thought that was a little strange. Give me your sins. And then she remembered a story from the life of St. Jerome. St. Jerome was maybe the greatest scripture scholar, the greatest Bible scholar we ever had in the Catholic Church. He translated the Bible from the original Hebrew, Aramaic. He translated it into Latin, and then it was translated into other languages, French, and English, and Spanish. And St. Jerome asked God, what gift do you want me? Do you want me, God, to give you for Christmas? And God said to him, Give me your sins. Now think about this. All the gifts that I have, all of the gifts that I have are from God. All the gifts that you have are from God. Everything. Your ability to work, your ability to read, your ability to to pray, your um, 
ability to see and to hear and to speak. Um, all your gifts are from God. The only thing I really have of myself, the only thing I have of myself are my sins. The only thing you have of yourself are your sins. And we all sin. The Bible says the just man sins seven times a day. We who are unjust sin much more often than that. So the only thing you really have to give to God are your sins. And when you give God your sins, He forgives you. When you give to God your weaknesses, He strengthens you. When you give to God your burdens, your difficulties, your sufferings, your trials, He helps you. He helps you. Like, um, we all have sufferings and we all have a cross to carry. But it is said, you know, um, God will never give you a cross, a difficulty that's too much. It's too much if you hold on to it yourself. But if you give it to God, He will help you with your burden, your suffering, your cross, whatever it may be. You give to God your difficulties, He helps you. And but we have to surrender to Him first. You have to surrender. That's what St. Paul did. If you read 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 7 to 10, I memorized it. Because he says, Hey, God, I have this difficulty. I have this thorn in the flesh. Will you take it away, please? Will you deal with it? You know what God said to him? said, no. God said, Paul, my strength is sufficient for you. My strength is sufficient. My power is at its best in your weakness. When you are weak and you give your weakness to me, that's when my, my power is at its best. So, um, Paul gave his weakness, his thorn in the flesh to God. And God helped him. And Paul was able to say, Gladly, gladly, gladly will I glory in my difficulties that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Because when I am weak, then I am strong. When you are weak, then you are strong. Because your strength, you see, comes from God. But you have to give him your weakness. And he will strengthen you. So, give to God your weakness. Give to God your burdens. Give him a gift for Christmas. Give him your sins. And the greatest healing we have is in the Holy Sacrament of Reconciliation, Confession, where he gives us his total forgiveness. There is nobody in this church who goes to confession more than I do. And um, our, my greatest sin, your greatest sin, it's always pride. Pride goes before the fall. Pride is the cause of all our sins. Pride is the self, the selfishness, the sinfulness, the, you know, I think I'm something, instead of thanking God for the gifts he's given me, um, I think, I think they're my own. Instead of thanking God for the gifts he's given you, do you think that they're your own? Give God your sins.
so, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Blessed Mother Mary, suffered and died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, and rose from the dead, overcoming sin and death? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. And recognizing our weakness, recognizing that all our gifts are from God, we pray. Knowing that Mary is our mother, and that she prays for us always, we have the strength to resist evil, resist evil, and be good to those we meet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, I pray our prayer. That Mary, strengthened by the Holy Spirit, guides our elected officials to serve the needs of people, especially those most in need of help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, I pray our prayer. That the love of Mary inspire everyone to work to restore the garden, the green garden, which is our planet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, I pray our prayer. That we continue to pray to and grow in love and devotion to our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Mary is the patroness of our nation. Uh, Mary, under the title of the Immaculate Conception, um, is the patroness of the USA. Our Basilica in Washington, D.C., is the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. So we pray for our nation, we pray for our, our, um, our leaders, um, we pray for our bishops and all those who lead Christian churches. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord. and that we may surrender all, give everything all to, to Jesus and to give him our sins and we receive his forgiveness, his help, and his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord and let us ask Mary to pray for us now at this hour and to pray for us at the hour of our death um, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. If you have any offerings for the parish, donations, please place them in those red boxes in the back. Um, thank you for helping us um, to pay our bills and to keep the electricity on. Thank you. We need the
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this one to offer fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. But praise the glory of his name. For our good and our situation. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord. On the feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Mother Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your preventative grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, loving and eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of your church, his beautiful bride, without spot or wrinkle. Mary, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth the Son, the innocent man, who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness, united with the angels and saints in heaven and our guardian angels and patron saints here on earth, we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of Christ. by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like the beautiful, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he died for the forgiveness of our sins and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of it, and eat of it. For this is my body, which would be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving you thanks, Father. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. His body, his blood, for the forgiveness of our sins. And we proclaim, we proclaim the death, 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 O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world Bring your church to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all those among the living and among the dead for whom we now pray. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we pray that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Mary said yes to God, thy will be done. We say our yes to God, and we pray thy will be done. Our, our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
the evil of sin, graciously grant peace in all days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and And Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Mary is the Queen of Peace. Jesus gives us his peace, a peace that the world cannot give, he said. This is my gift to you. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us take a moment this evening and offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Jesus, born of Mary, the one who takes away the sins of the world, the one who gives us peace. Blessed are we who come with faith to receive the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have my Jesus received you. Jesus received you, um, and Mary received you in our God, and we receive you now with faith and love. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. 
Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Together, let's pray the Anna, Anna, Christi, and God's love. And so forth. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Love of Christ, integrate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. The Lord Jesus, hear me. We continue our prayer of thanks. Grant me, pray, Father, that 
we may constantly exalt, exalt the merits of the Blessed Mother Mary and follow her example of saying yes to you and giving everything over to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mother Mary, may God's blessings be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. Bring out in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria.